Hey, good evening, guys. This is Master Kevin Fong. Uh, very glad to have you with me tonight. Right, so how are you guys doing right now? I know it's a Sunday night, but just felt like every other night right now with the stay at home order, right? Okay, um, we're just going to be discussing more in depth um, on parts of training for tonight. I thought I would spend a good uh, half an hour with you guys so you'll be able to uh, kind of know how to use the parts to get answers, directions, and of course, uh, the key focus. So just giving a shout out to some of you. If, can you hear my voice pretty well? If you can, can just help me to drop a yes, just to do some mic tests. Right, hi Jackie, hi Francis, good to have you guys. Okay, so if you can actually hear me uh, pretty well, just help me to drop a yes uh, in the comment, so I know how this is all working out. I mean, I'm um, still not very good with all this software stuff, but well, we'll try to figure out all well after a while. Okay. Hi, Jen. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Ben. Hi, Alex. Oh, good to have you guys on board. Uh, can you guys help me to do a like and share so we can actually reach uh, more people tonight? I think we should all be good because um, we'll be trying to cover quite a bit of training so you guys can be able to really take control of what's going to come because uh, right now i do think that um it is not exactly um clear that you know every, the the city is going to open by first of june okay although right now for singapore it's first of june i think malaysia is somewhat a bit earlier i think the 12th of may okay so that probably is um yeah, until there's a further extension. So you never know, right? So in the meantime, I thought what would be good is let's all just learn some skill set. So as much time as I can, okay, uh, I'll be able to show you um, technically what are the methods that you can use into understanding your parts of chart, right? So this is uh, pretty important. So try to uh, help me to like and share the video so we can actually reach more people when we get this started uh, in a while. Now, if you just join me uh, for the first time, you have kind of no idea uh, what to really do right now. It's uh, technically, you can go and plot your parts chart, right? Uh, goes to my parts.info if you have not gotten your parts chart up. Now, because for tonight training, uh, we'll be using a lot of the parts chart to understand uh, what are the mechanics about the date of birth and time. Uh, that is of reference to you, okay? Right. So if you can, then um, we'll be able to tell you from there, right? Can you hear, can you see me on the video? Some of you say you can't see much from the video. No problem. Okay. Just to check if you can still see me from the video, just say yes. Because some of you say you can't see the video, right? So the video is not playing. Oh, this is weird. Okay. So let's check. Is the video playing? Right. Can you see anything from the video? Okay, so some of you guys is playing, some of you is not playing, yeah? So you can you can hear me good and loud from the video and you can see video, right? Because I, I got a couple of comments that you can't see me on the video. So I was wondering what's going on, right? <laughs> okay, so if you can um, see me on the video, that's good, right? So first and foremost, uh, tries to get your puzzle chart up. Okay, so I'll be spending a good um, half an hour with you guys to master some knowledge. I mean, these are knowledge that you can uh, pretty much use in your advantage because at the end of the day, if you know what is about to come, uh, what is the date of birth and time in reference to you, you'll be able to make very good uh, decisions. Okay, so um, tries to uh, get your uh, my puzzle.info up. And then uh, I probably can do a bit of screen sharing. Okay. So now when you have already logged into um, your password account, technically what you'll be seeing is this. I'll probably just share a bit. Yeah. Okay. So what you probably be seeing is um, technically you can look at your, uh, okay, this is a screenshot, right? You do have, that's a new user. So if this is the first time, just click on the new user and tries to get an account. The account is free. So uh, no problem at all, all right? So now if you are not able to um, log in, you can always do a forgot password, so no issue, right? So once you are already in, technically you'll be able to plot your password, 
right? So technically your date of birth and time, right? You are able to uh, just put in the English date of birth and time. That's good enough, okay? I know some of you is the first time with this, so it's just going to uh, get you guys familiarized with how to use this. It's not difficult at all. So because we have software and everything is available right now, so it's even easier these days to get this uh, kind of chart up. All right? You guys is good? Yep. Okay. So now, uh, of course, some of you is asking, uh, what about your um, date of birth? Is it English or Chinese? So just simply put in your English. Your English date of birth is good enough. Okay, we, we don't need to put in your Chinese or your lunar date. Just English birthday is good enough, right? So if you know the time, uh, of course, uh, you will get even 100% a, a accuracy, right? 99.9. .9. But if you don't have the time, uh, you probably drop down to about 75%, but it's still good enough. So if you can try to figure out the time, uh, try to get it from a birth cert. So apparently getting it up from the birth cert is some of the best way to go, right? So you guys are able to get your puzzle chart. If you can, just help me to drop yes. So I know a lot of you is able to, you know, get your puzzle chart up running because in a while I'll be sharing information uh, that you'll be able to refer to your chart and to be able to make reference to this. At the end of the day, it's, um, I just want to guide you guys to be able to make um, very good decisions so you are able to know the direction that's about to come and to leverage on the strength that's given to you, right? So whatever strength that is gifted to you, you can actually leverage on there, okay? So get your chart up. Uh, it should somewhat look something like this if you look at my, my screen, okay? So that's um, technically how you can be looking at the chart. So you see the chart itself, there's a few things, yeah? So we do have an um, example, right? You do have the, um, that's a year, okay? So if you look at the chart itself, you do have um, the year, okay? The month and the day and the hour, yeah? So you do get a, a, a few things that it's um, technically that is being shown on the parts of the chart, right? So what we are actually doing here is to understand, the core focus for today is to understand uh, one thing. It is, I want to talk about this, that is called the 10 God structure, okay? So if you do have the 10 God structure, this is one of the key components we want to talk about because um, two days ago, uh, we were doing a live and what I've actually covered is um, technically what has happened, right? So, I mean, a lot of you like to find out what is, uh, when is this COVID-19 situation is going to end, okay? So I give a rough indication uh, in my um, previous video. So if you have missed it, you can always go back and watch. Okay, the video has covered that. I also give teach you guys how to really, uh, based on the directions, uh, whatever is coming to your parts chart for this year, to get a very good direction that's coming from there. Okay, so that's the first aspect of it. So today I just thought, um, because I had so much question coming in um, after the Facebook Live, so what I will want to be addressing is uh, today people is asking about then, uh, you know, if I want to make any changes to my job, uh, offer or changes is my working direction, where do I consider which industry is good, right? Or what should I really do, okay? See, a lot of us, uh, we might be lost at this point in time, okay? So one of the key thing is we can get answers from the 10 God structure, okay? So your 10 God structure pretty much give you a lot of answers. What is, what is the characteristics of um, that you're born with? That's just one part of it. What is a given strength? that you're able to manifest out of this faster, right? Than learning a new skill uh, completely. So that's one part, right? So just to hope that you guys can still hear me pretty well, uh, help me to share the post, to like and share the post because whatever we're covering for tonight, um, I think more people can benefit from this session, okay? So a session like that, you guys can start to decode your parts chart for tonight. So help me to do me a favor, right? Just help me to like and share. So the more uh, the people actually get direction, because currently right now, there's, there's really a lot of people out there that's really suffering. They are looking for answers, and they probably is not in such a good shape to be paying anyone professionally to get answers, okay? So your sharing will really helps a lot, right? So let's just keep each other supported uh, in this point in time. So do me a favor, help me to like and share the post. So whilst you're sharing, uh, so we can you know pass this out to as many people as possible. There's no fee in attending a, a live session like this, yeah? So everyone can benefit from this. Okay, so few things is, now you look look at your parser chart, you do have this part that says the Thank God structure. So if you go to the, where do you actually find this part is this, yeah? Once you go to your parser chart, 
you know, you get down to this part, okay, on the left, as you can see, that's a tank god structure. Now, if I'm going to blow it up, you will see there's a lot of percentage that you can be looking at, okay? So if you look at the percentage itself, right? So the percentage is something that is born within you, right? So some of you was asking, but what about, you know, some of the stars that uh, technically have 0%? So example, uh, let me just show a highlight, yeah? So example, that's 0% for this person, direct officer, and 0% for friend and Rob Well. So now don't focus about the stars that you're not born with, okay? So all of us, um, their abilities is already given to us. It's whether you want to utilize them, right? Or some of these are hidden talent or abilities. You have yet to awaken them. So one of the key practices is uh, you need to be aware first that you have such an ability. And of course, uh, you will take your effort and time, right, to develop that. But in the first place, at least try to find out what's going on, right? So some of you have just, just joined me um, tonight. Very glad to see all of you today. Okay, so what we're covering is uh, we'll go dive deep into the Tangot structure, which allows you to look at your parts chart per se. So if you don't know where to plot your parts chart, it's on the screen. Uh, it's visit, uh, you can visit the myparts.info, right? And plot your date of birth and time. It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything for the account, plotting the info, right? So get your chart up, okay? And you'll be able to study some of these mechanics of the percentage that we are talking about here. Okay, so let me just get this screen clear up so you get a bit more space, okay? So, so one of the key things is this. Now, if you look at the Tangot structure itself, let me just run through some of your Tangot structure, okay? So, of course, first and foremost, how many of you do have the seven killing? You get some percentage of seven killing. Just tell me to input, um, give me your feedback, right? How many of you got a seven killing? You got some percentage, okay? Just give me your feedback. Okay, how many of you? So if you've got 25%, just, just skin 25%. If you have uh, like 45%, just skin 45, okay? So I'll be running through, right, some of the stars that it's in a given. If I can cover this uh, completely, right, I'll cover in the next session, so no worries, okay? So Lo, Lo Cheng Wei has, um, okay, 70%, so that's, that's, that's good, right? So Lo Cheng Wei technically has 70% in seven killing, okay? So that's for Lo Cheng Wei. Right, so some of you, Jen, Jen Ho, 45, okay, good percentage, right? Uh, that is Mitch, Mitch Ang, 5%. 5%, listen, 5% is good enough. Huh? Even you're born with 5%, you can really leverage on the strength, right? Uh, it's only if you got zero, it's okay. Huh? If it's got zero, later on when I run through other stars, uh, you will see what stars is referenced in the chart, okay? So you utilize those that's already a given strength to you, right? We don't utilize uh, whatever that you don't have because... To develop something that you don't have, you're probably going to take a long time, all right? So I prefer to, you know, get you started on things that you have already have, okay? So that is the fastest way to master your parts of the chart abilities, yeah? So now, if you look at the uh, seven killing, all right? Now, this stars is, uh, I will call this is a demanding stars. So if you look at most of the CEOs around the world, all right? Chief executive officers, CEO around the world, you will realize that um, most of their chart do have this amount uh, there's, a, there's a good percentage. So what's a good percentage to have? Now, technically, anything between 20 to 70, to me, is a good percentage, okay? But as long as you got 5%, all right, it's it's something that you can really utilize. Now, the seven killing strength, one of the key aspects is this. Uh, there's a high level of expectation uh, that you guys have for yourself. So that's one of the key factors is, uh, if you've got seven killing, you are one of the key structure that you virtually don't see giving up as an option, okay? And second is you are able to take a good amount of stress, right? So most people that they can't take stress, but to uh, to you, you know, stress is just a big part of your life. So that's why if you look at most CEOs, uh, are they in stressful positions? My guess is uh, yes, they are because there's you know a lot of staff got to report to them, right? They have to make big decisions and even have to take accountability for some decisions if the decisions is not going right. Okay, so seven killing pretty much if you have that. Uh, one of the key things is you can consider uh, your roles and direction in management, okay? Because um, these people usually, they don't uh, fall below their own expectation. So I usually like to hire people that have a good amount of seven killing. Uh, this stars tells me that, you know, uh, to them, there's no such thing as best, okay? How to be better, 
right? So I like this star pretty much in that. Now, the second aspect you need to look at is uh, seven killing itself. Uh, it can be uh, also pretty much a little bit of um, a double-edged sword, right? Because seven killing is a stressful star, okay? It gives you expectation. It allows you to get things done right. It also kind of make you a little bit of a perfectionist. So if you are a very perfectionist, it just keeps pushing you to the boundary. So one key aspect is if you have too high percentage, okay? Well, it's too high, eh? anything that's more than 70%, okay? In terms of your, uh, technically your seven killing itself, right? That's one of the aspects that you will realize that it's going to be pulling your health down in a fair bit, okay? So if you technically realize that part is going to give you a lot of problem, then yes, take time off to put yourself in a place whereby you don't really kind of always push yourself to go for the maximum. That's one part of it, okay? So Mabel, you have, um, well, pretty much 42%, okay? So that's a pretty high percentage, okay? So that's that's one part of the aspects that uh, we will see that um, most of high office position holders, um, if you're in charge of management, uh, that's one of the things that you want to be doing that, okay? So that, is good enough to get you started. So that's the seven killing. Now next, let's look at the uh, direct officer stars. Any one of you, I want to look at your direct officer stars. What is the percentage that you guys are having? Okay. So N, N is having about 20%. Okay. So N has 20%. Simon has uh, 75. Okay. That's cool. Okay. How about the rest of you? Do you have direct officer stars? All right. So pretty much, uh, this is pretty much one of the good stars that I was also looking at. Of course, every stars has a positive and negative aspects, okay? So today I'm just gonna give you reference, okay? To kind of look at your officer stars per se, because uh, by looking at your reference of the officer stars, you'll be able to uh, grip these are the core aspects of your nature. So your next steps, okay? If you decided to, you know, for some reason, if you got retrenched, you wanna find, uh, your next uh, things to do, right? So then you need to figure out what is uh, that next step, right? So today's session is all about getting you aligned with on your passer chart. So if you just came and join us, uh, you do not know how we actually plot this, okay? Let me just get you, uh, you will have to go to uh, my dot info, okay? Get your chart up, all right? So once you get your chart up, you will be able to uh, have this, uh, plot out in just a couple of seconds, okay? So if this is the first time that you're joining me, that's fine. So you have already gotten your chart perfect, wonderful, okay? So uh, I'll be using the parts of reference for quite a bit for uh, this coming week because the focus is all about parts, right? So we'll be doing uh, other sessions. Uh, we'll talk about feng shui, talk about face reading. Uh, there's so many more arts that uh, you guys can be uh, using it to your advantage, all right? So direct officers, uh, Marilyn has kind of uh, 45%. So Marilyn, 45, okay. Well, Janice has 98. Wow, okay, that's a high percentage, all right? So here's the thing. Now, if you have um, seven killing or direct officer stars, all right, uh, usually you will realize that whatever job that you get into your life, all right, you can't really get out from stress, okay? So there will be a quite a high amount of stress factor uh, that you have to be pushed in your job environment. Okay, so it's just like um, you know some people, whatever jobs that they get into, they tends to be more stressful than other people. Okay, so this is one aspect that is to get you to understand. It's like why almost every other job that you're changing, you have to deal with a certain level of stress. Okay, so this is technically one of the key aspects of the officer stars. All right. So um, technically, if you look at uh, other things, right? So your direct officer stars, I also see this as a management position, okay? So if you're given an offer, like right now, you should probably be um, looking at a higher position or asking you to take up more responsibility to manage some people. The direct officer star says that you have the ability to do it. Okay, so this is one of the core aspects that uh, you want to be looking at, right? So the direct officers, okay? So some of you, if you just join me, uh, feel free to just help me to like and share the post. So we are trying to reach as much people as possible, uh, trying to be passing down a good amount of parts of knowledge to you guys so you can actually take control and really transform your future from here, right? So a lot of it comes from awareness. So if you know uh, 
and you'll be able to make well-informed decisions. But if you don't know, then you are like, you know, mingling around in the dark and seeking directions. And that can be, um, you know, one of the key things. So Marilyn was saying that uh, you are manager in home affairs. Uh, that's good enough. That's good enough. And I always say that being a housewife is never easy. Okay. Uh, you have to take care of, you have to wear so many hats, right? To take care of the children, you have to look after the household and get everything settled is one of the toughest jobs. Okay. So keep your comments coming. Okay. It's pretty good to, we, uh, I intend to keep this very interactive. So uh, keep all your comments coming just to make sure that uh, you are able to get this up. It's a two ways interaction. So I'm not just talking all the time, right? So I get to see some of the comments. Uh, if you've got questions, feel free to also ask questions. Later, I'll reserve about a good five minutes to cover you guys for a little bit of Q&A, okay? So you can get things figured out, right? So, right, direct offices, key aspects is uh, number one, you got to deal with stress, okay? Number two, uh, you have the capability to uh, work in uh, office management role, okay? That's one part of it, all right? And of course, when you are in officer's face, that means you are in a seven killing or direct officer, naturally you will be, you know, facing a little bit more stress than usual. Okay. So, wow. So one of these guys is uh, saying this is coming from Max. Eh? So Max is both is 99%. Wow. That's a high percentage. Okay. I mean, if you really have both at this high percentage, uh, I must say that there's quite a fair bit of uh, stress coming into your life that you will find a lot of ways to do with it. Okay. But the fact that, hey, you know, you are already standing here up right now and you're still alive okay that's pretty good and fantastic right so keep it on okay so it just means that you, your stress tolerance level is very high that's one part of it right there are there are such chart that is like that okay so other things that you want to be looking at is okay let's look at the stars that we look at this yeah okay let's look at the friend stars how many of you got the friend stars okay anyone of you got your friend stars so friend stars is one of the key aspects and component. So your friend stars, see what do you have for your percentage? Okay, let me know what's your friend stars percentage, guys. Okay. Ah, okay. So, so we got 20. So Benjamin, uh, 20%. Okay, cool. Right. Melvin, 25%. All right. So Melvin has 25%. Uh, we have Kemsi. Okay, Kemsi at 20%. Okay. Right, Francis, 10%, right? So if you've got zero, it's fine, yeah? Just focus on the percentage that you have for whatever stars that you're getting, okay? So we have Joshua, 0%, and Joanne, um, okay, 75, no, okay. So we have Lim Mayen, 75%, okay, that's pretty good percentage, all right? Okay, so here's one of the uh, key aspects. Jane, Jane has 20%, okay? So that's great. Alex Alexandra, right? That's a uh, fifteen percent. Okay, so Alex has fifteen percent. So not bad. I mean, it seems like most of you has a good percentage. Okay, it doesn't mean zero percent that um you have no friends help. It doesn't mean that, right? Sometimes the percentage can be triggered by your luck pillar. Okay, uh, other episodes I'll start to cover your luck pillar, right? So that's luck pillar. That is annual energy. That's a month energy. Okay, so if your chart you're not born with it. Uh, there's certain timeline that can comes along as it comes, right? So your luck pillar can bring that to you. Your year pillar can bring that to you, okay? So now, what is the part about friend star? So you see, if you are having good percentage with a friend star, you cannot get out from this. Is You always, you know, can rely on the help of good friends and supporters, okay? That means you need to get into the people business because to you, it's just so easy, right? You know, some people can just... um know someone for just the first five minutes and they can just make very good friends. They know how to communicate, right? And they know how to connect, right? So that's one of the good uh, benefit about this task as a friend task. So if you got it at 5%, that is a good starting point, but a good percentage will be 20, 25 to roughly about 70%. Now, if you got like 80, 90, 100, right? So what does it mean? So sometimes it could mean that, you know, uh, that could be too much of this social uh, supporters out there. And, and we all know that, right? Sometimes you only need a one or two good friends that give you all the support that you need. But if you spend your attention with a whole group of everyone out there, you probably may be a bit stretching your attention to too many people. And that may not be a very good thing, right? So when you do have the friend star, uh, listen up, yeah? You got to tap onto people, whatever 
things that you want to be doing right now. So example, if you say that uh, I want to be changing my job, right? So should I go to a back-end admin role? Then the advice I will have to give you is this, then you probably need to change to a role whereby you can interact with people, right? Because it's only when you interact with people, then you will be able to realize that, hey, then it's easy for you to get on track faster. And the recognition is always there, right? So if you're doing a back-end role, uh, a lot of admin staff, right? It just means that you are not able to technically to connect to this part on it, right? So that one part is something that you got to. Right? So if you have it, it's perfect. Now, if you don't have that, then it just, it, it doesn't mean that you can't speak, right? It just means that technically, if you want to be speaking, um, this Rockwell Stars is going to help you a lot more, right? So you realize a lot of speakers out there, yeah, network marketing is good. So like example, Annie was saying that's network marketing, okay? So if you're going to network marketing, uh, then this friend or Rockwell is going to get you there. So probably let's just have a look at your Rockwell Stars. What stars, what kind of percentage do you guys have? the rock wealth, right? So this is one of the very good stars that I always like to look at, the rock wealth stars, okay? So look at your rock wealth stars, right? So what do you have from there, okay? So, okay, so Marilyn has a uh, 75% wow, okay? So you must be able to speak. Mabel, 75, okay, quite a lot of you, right? Benjamin, 15, okay? So Mabel has uh, June, 5%, okay? 5% is good enough. Okay, once you get 5%, you can start to polish up on the skill, right? You don't have to be actively um, be using too much of your um, effort, okay? The minute you got 5% is just getting used to it, right? So, so just keep speaking to people, getting used to it, do a sales job, okay? Or even get into a call support job, all right? So if you're getting to this call support job, maybe you'll be forced to speak to other people, but at least you're not speaking face-to-face. But up to a certain level, once uh, you are able to get traction, then yeah, you can start to engage on the face-to-face, -face, okay? So Francis, 25%, okay, that's nice. Jason has 50%, okay? CP Lim, 20, uh, 25%, right? Rika, Rika has, oh, wow, well, Rika, good percentage, 75, that's great, right? So 0% for 7K is okay, right? But uh, as long as you have 75%, uh, that's one of the good percentage that you want to be looking at. All right. Okay. So what is this stars that we talk about rock wealth? Now, number one, rock wealth is more, uh, it's one of the key stars that you will find in a lot of lawyers, uh, speaker, uh, DJ, right? So if you look at a lot of these lawyers, speaker, DJ, this is some of the key aspects that you will realize in their chart or even celebrities, right? Normally they are pretty good speaker. That means whatever that you're doing in your job, uh, you can't get out from speaking. Okay, so as long that uh, people is able to hear you directly, uh, you, they'll be able to get the convincing power from you, right? So you will be able to build trust. So rather than, you know, um, crafting overnight uh, and, and let's say a proposal, right? You spend four or five hours on a proposal, I will actually say is that maybe it's even better to meet up a guy or even talk to him directly because uh, your rate of closing at using the rock wealth I think it's a rather high percentage than have, uh, you know, document sent to them over the phone, okay? Right, so now we have, uh, okay, herding officers, uh, okay, 100%, wow, that's that's perfect, right? So if you have uh, herding officers and your rock wealth at 100%, then this year is the year that you probably uh, wants to go out and really meet more people. Now, some of you may not know how do you look at the year energy. Now, this is not too difficult. You want to be looking at the year energy. Uh, one of the key aspects is you can go to uh, your parcel chart, all right? You look at the uh, 2020 uh, elemental stars, okay? So that part will be able to get you uh, what is the stars that is coming, okay, for this year. So if you miss this part, you can actually go back to uh, my video for past two days, my live session. I actually cover this part on how do you get the annual stars energy that's coming and what can you do about it, right? So there's some guides to that, okay? Now I'm trying to keep uh, the session uh, to probably about half an hour plus minus. So I'm not taking too much of your time. So all I need is just half an hour every day, okay? Then you'll be able to... Um, at least starts to pick up some information, skill sets on Ba Zi, Feng Shui, right? Chinese metaphysics, and use these tools that you have to empower yourself 
and to transform your life at least to the outcome that you want, right? So that aspect is what I'm hoping to be getting, right? So the first session I did was about one and a half hour, okay? So some of you stretching for too long, okay? So what we'll be doing here is technically, uh, we want to be looking at, right, what you want to achieve for this year, okay? So one of the good aspects is we want to be looking at your percentage of your chart, okay? So let me bring it out to this part here, okay? So let me just cover one more stars, right? Before I start to get into your Q&A, right? So that's for Rock Wealth, right? So that's for your Rock Wealth stars. Okay, let's cover the hurting officer stars, right? So just give me a thumbs up, right? If you enjoy this part of the training, you think this is good, uh, it's helping, please help me to do a like and share because uh, every of this session that we are doing right now, we're conducting them at no cost to you. So just help us to share so you can reach more people that they can learn these skill sets and help them to make good decisions, okay? So if you can just click on the like and the share button. So I know that you guys really like this sort of training so I can continue to do them on a regular basis for you guys, yeah? So we will just, you know, keep each other supported at this time. Okay, so let's talk about the, um, let's see, let's talk about your hurting officers. So how many of you have, um, good percentage in the hurting officers. Just give me your percentage right here, okay? So look at the part, right? So Janice uh, is asking, okay, what does it mean to have zero rock wealth but 70% hurting officers? Okay, so let me cover the part on hurting officers so at least you give you a good uh, percentage that you understand what we are looking at, okay? So Eric has um, 7%, okay? So that's not too bad, right? So Eric has 7%, okay? So, um, okay, thanks, thanks, Rika, for sharing with your friends with a watch party. Very much appreciated, okay? So, Cam's, uh, Cam's, Cam, we have Cam Miss here that we have uh, 25, then Jackie, we have 10, okay? So, Helen, 100, wow, okay. So, later, this is a very interesting part, yeah? I think Officer is always one of the most interesting stars. So, Alex, well, 100%, okay? So, uh, the call... Characteristics of hurting officers is this. Now, most of the time, hurting officers is an action taking stars. Now, if you have hurting officers, uh, you are perfect with marketing stuff. Okay. So, getting uh, brands out, getting your marketing, getting the words out, uh, word of mouth, and everything. Hurting officers, people are perfect at doing that. Okay. They are very good marketing people. That's number one. Now, hurting officers is also action taker right? They don't usually sit on um, their proposal. They don't usually sit on their goals. If you think about something today, they, they, they probably could not even take like five minutes and it starts to act on it already. So that's the power of the herding officers, okay? So if you have herding officer stars, so one good thing is um, it's good to go for career switch or jobs that really put you down for, you know, a lot of um, uh, meet the probably meeting people on the ground, okay? That means you, you can't afford to take a job that is very much on the back end, uh, admin, and then it's very slow routine for you. I think that sort of job will kind of drive you crazy, okay? But if you've got hurting officers, a uh, good percentage, 20, 25 to about 70% in your chart, uh, the hurting officer stars will make you want to do work, okay? So the good part about it is you always get the job done. Right, so that's why I say when I hire people, the first task I look at is do you have herding officers? Uh, I used to crack a joke um, when I was doing my seminars. I said that if you are hiring mates, okay, so if you're hiring mates, you realize that herding officers, okay, uh, technically is one of the stars you want to be looking at because if not, you will end up being the mate, okay. So if every of the stars that you're having herding officers zero, uh, the eating god is zero, right, then you realize that. Um, you are not, they are not the one doing the job. You have to be a one covering for them, okay? So that's herding officers. Now, a good percentage, 25 to about 75%, all right? So if you have that, go for a job that is ready to keep you on the ground, keep you very busy. That's number one. Now, let me talk a bit about the weak point of herding officers. If you have, like, example, 70, 80, 90, uh, to probably 100, right? So if you have this sort of percentage, what does it mean? Uh, it can mean that, you know, you may be taking action too fast, all right? So without a lot of research work done, you immediately jump into the business. So maybe a, a friend come and talk to you, hey, you know what, uh, we have this, this, this business and it's, it's quite, you know, uh, easy to get started. So we want to just get started like next week and 
very quickly, you just jump into it. You haven't done your research. So you just have to be careful of that because hurting officers too high percentage, you usually do first, you think later, all right? So that's one part of the balance we want to be looking at. So now if you see, so uh, Helen actually has, uh, oh, so Helen is in the right job, okay? Doing sales and marketing for global, wow, okay. That's, that's I, I guess your position is pretty high up there. Okay, sales and marketing for global, that's pretty good, all right? So now when you have herding officers, uh, it also means something, right? Uh, you sometimes can be a little bit pretty argumentative and you're willing to challenge, right? Now willing to challenge for the right reason is good. But if you're just willing to challenge for, you know, doing things your way, uh, when you probably have a higher boss to answer to, then having that high herding officers uh, may not be in your favor because you might be trying to bulldoze your way through. So that's one aspect of it that we usually don't want to uh, get it hurt because you you end up offending people without knowing. Okay, so that is technically what we talk about in terms of the hurting officers. That's at a seventy percent. So you see, this part of the training, all I want to cover is I want you to let you guys to know how do you really understand yourself, right? Just from the date of birth and time. A lot of this uh, intrinsic capabilities uh, is already passed down to us, but have you made an awareness to use them in your advantage, okay? And we will pretty much see a lot of people is moving around their whole life, you know, wandering here and there, and they just have to adopt a trial and error thing. So that's something that we want to not be doing that, right? So that's the whole idea of uh, getting into, you know, understanding your parcel and using that mechanics to help you to you know go down the directions that you really plan for yourself, all right? Okay, so now of course, uh, if some of you has been asking that where do you download even some of these files? Now this files is actually available uh, on our first session when we actually conduct them. So if you want to be downloading them, uh, it's not too difficult, okay? So I'll probably just get you the instructions on how you can be downloading some of these files, okay? And you'll be able to um, download them and use that in your favor. But of course, uh, the percentage itself, this what I show you on screen is just an example. You are supposed to be going to your myparts.info, uh, plot your date of birth and time. And of course, through there, and you use uh, the interpretation, I have it on video to help you on that, right? So some of you are saying that, uh, okay, so probably I'll just give you guys a little bit of a Q&A. So try to input your questions right now. Okay, so I take this uh, five minutes as a Q&A so I can get some of your questions answered. Okay, so your feedback and comments is, is pretty much good for me right now. So that's perfectly well, okay. So having 97%, okay, so we, I have questions from Charlies, right? Charlies Wong. So having 97% rock wealth, 93% uh, uh, indirect wealth, is an unhealthy percentage. No, it's not really an unhealthy percentage. It's just like every star that is both side, right? So the good aspects of uh, rock wealth is uh, you are able to speak, okay? So get into jobs that you are able to do your speaking and engagement. But of course, do it enough. Don't overdo it, right? Don't, you know, spend all your time just, you know, talking to people on the phone, right? So this is just asking you to strike a balance, that's all, okay? So first is to get the awareness to know what are the stars that is available in the chart. And then the second is to strike an awareness, right, about it and just to make sure that you're not over-utilizing too much, that's all. Now, indirect wealth uh, and the rest I'll be covering for tomorrow, okay? So I, I try to break this into half an hour session plus minus. So you guys will have your time to do your other things, okay? So which task is good to run businesses? So now, uh, I always say that if you want to be running businesses, I like having hurting officers tasks, okay? And of course, indirect wealth tasks. So because uh, technically, if you have indirect wealth stars, which I will cover that part of training tomorrow, these are very entrepreneur people, okay? So they think of things outside the box. They are not so much suited to run nine to five job, okay? So hurting officers is because uh, you need freedom, all right? You don't like to be controlled too much. So if you have hurting officers, um, sometimes getting in a job means you are under a lot of red tapes and restrictions. So you're not able to give your best, all right? In whatever you do, so by holding them back. So if you want to be running businesses, so probably heading officers, right? It's a uh, good stars to have. Indirect wealth stars is good stars to have. But of course, uh, business owners also tends to have officer stars, which is seven killing 
or direct officers. Even if you got 5%, 10% is a good percentage. So seven clean and direct officers, these are technically management stars, the way I look at them. Okay, it does give you some stress a bit here and there, but it also gives you the ability to manage people. Okay, so not everyone can manage people, but some people can really do it quite well. But of course, managing people doesn't mean that you are trying to make everyone happy. It's more of what is the goals you're trying to accomplish for the company instead, right? So, okay, uh, so we have technically, okay, let me just take one more question. So this is from Jocelyn. So I don't have Rob Wealth or even friend in Nature chart by my 10 year luck pillar got 100%. And this is it. So if you don't have any of the percentage, so example, you don't have friend and Rob Wealth in your Nature chart, but yet the 10 years luck pillar. Now for the rest of you, if you realize I haven't touched on the luck pillar, I try to touch it in the upcoming episodes. So I try to break this into mini, mini little uh, education platform for you guys. Uh, here's the part on it. If you don't have it in your Nature chart and then your luck pillar is here, it means right now these two stars is activated, okay? So this is technically uh, good enough. So now 7K just means that anything dangerous, you don't do too much, right? So just be on the safe side, that's all, right? So if you need to get into a very big investment, it's gonna cost you like six digit or five digit figure, then probably think well before you even want to commit that sort of figure, right? So that's the first thing, okay? So. Right, I hope you guys really uh, enjoy this session that I have prepared for you guys. Of course, right now, if you want to be knowing, right, where do you really uh, download the guides? Now, the guides, I already have it previously, but if you have not downloaded it yet, okay, let me just get the guides for you guys, okay? So if you need to get the guides, you need to technically, uh, you have to key in, okay, growth 2020 in one word, right? In, Key in growth 2020 in one word and technically what happens is I think the system will start to uh, send you a link. You can be able to download your files, right? So just key in growth 2020, you'll be able to download the files. Some of you are already downloaded. Uh, that's great. If you have not downloaded, just uh, key growth 2020 uh, in the comment section, right? And um, the rest will start to be sent all the way to you, right? So this is, um, I think my team has got this set up. I don't really know much how these things works, but yeah, well, it's good enough that um, right now everybody is in the lockdown period. So I guess uh, as much as we're trying to reach all our students, our communities, uh, at least we still got the internet. The best part is imagine if this was to happen 20 years ago, right? So if it happens 20 years ago, I think uh, everyone will be so miserable. You can't get out of the house and there's not a lot of things that you can do, okay? So just uh, punch in Growth 2020. And if you just manage to uh, just come into my life, please help me to do a favor. Help me to do a like and a share, right? Help me to share the post because every of this little training, you never know it's going to help that someone who's already at their last straw. They don't know what to do already, right? And they probably also, you know, don't have the kind of financial resources to engage professional advice or pay for courses or what's, whatsoever, right? So all these little um, classes that we taught to help the community is we start to put them out, right? So just to make sure that um, technically when uh, you are looking at the um, uh, info itself, right? You will be able to leverage and share, okay? So I hope that uh, you will love this part of the training Right. So now tomorrow, uh, if you can, you can still be joining me. Uh, it's the usual same time at about uh, nine o'clock. Right. So uh, I'll still be talking about parts. So if you have not uh, gotten your parts, you have to go to my parts dot info. OK, so when you get on to my parts dot info, you probably will be able to uh, plot your date of birth and time. Get ready first. So you don't have to be plotting and uh, fidgeting between your phone at the same time. It's, it's going to be hard to read. OK, so of course, you're in front of a desktop or a monitor. I think uh, then it's even better. You do have a big screen, a bigger screen. OK, so I hope you enjoyed this part of the training and do help me to give a, a cheer out. Right. Help me to like and share. But of course, um, at the same time, I also like to remind everyone, please stay at home at this point of time. Uh, don't take the risk to go out because if you can, uh, we want to be flattened the curve. That's for people in Malaysia, in Singapore, or all parts of the world. Whichever parts of the world that you are tuning in right now, okay, I hope, uh, I pray for you guys to be safe and uh, God bless. Make sure that uh, you guys don't take any form of risk at this point of time. If really no choice, then uh, just call for food, right? So love you guys. See you and good night.